This problem is about checking continuity of a function using its graph. The graph of f is given below. On which intervals is f continuous? At any discontinuity of f, evaluate the left and right limits of f if they exist. Algebraically, we can check if a function f is continuous at a point a if the limit as x approaches a of f of x is f of a. What that means on the graph is basically there are no holes and there are no jumps. The situation can be more complicated than that, but this should take care of us for now. We now look for any holes or any jumps in the graph of f. The places where a hole or a jump occurs will be a place where f is not continuous. At x equals negative 2, there is a hole. We see that the graph should continue on to y equals 3 when x is negative 2. However, f is such that f of negative 2 is 5. So therefore, there is a hole right here. There is a jump at x equals 4. At x equals 4, the values of f are coming down to negative 4, and then all of a sudden jump up to positive 2. That is a discontinuity. Notice, the way it is drawn, the function f is continuous at all other points except x equals negative 2 and x equals 4. Therefore, the intervals on which f is continuous are negative infinity to negative 2, negative 2 to 4, and 4 to infinity. We just determined that the function f is not continuous at x equals negative 2 and at x equals 4. Let's go evaluate the left and right limits of f at those two locations. At x equals negative 2, we need to compute the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the left of f of x. To do this, we look to the graph and approach x equals negative 2 with x coordinates from the left. So we're approaching this way, and we need to walk along the graph. As x approaches negative 2, we arrive at this hole. The height is y equals 3. So therefore, the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the left of f of x is equal to 3. Now we need to compute the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the right of f of x. To do this, we approach negative 2 from the right, and we walk along the graph until we get to x equals negative 2. Again, walking along the graph, we end up at the same hole, and the height of this location is y equals 3. Therefore, the limit is equal to 3. Now let's compute the left and right limits of f at x equals 4. First, we do the left limit. To do so, we walk along the graph as x approaches 4 from the left and record the values on the graph. When we get to x equals 4, the y value is negative 4. Therefore, the limit as x approaches 4 from the left of f of x is equal to negative 4. Now let's do the limit from the right. We walk along the graph as x approaches 4 from the right, and when we get to x equals 4, we record the y value, which is 2. The limit as x approaches 4 from the right of f of x is equal to 2. We conclude with our four limits. The limit as x approaches 4 from the left is negative 4, and as x approaches 4 from the right is 2. The limit as x approaches negative 2 from the left is 3, 
and also as x approaches negative 2 from the right.